Namaste, good evening. Good evening to all of you. Respected Professor Jagdish Mukhi ji, former Professor Shahid Bhagat Singh College and former Governor of Assam and former Education Minister, Government of NCT of Delhi. He is a person who played key role for the establishment of Guru Gobind Singh Indrapastha University and I am the professor of that university. Huh? <laughs> 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 professor Professor PC Joshi Professor I am Kapahi Professor NK Kakarji Professor VK Agarwal Professor BP Singh ji Professor PS Grover Professor Shri Prakash Ji, Director South Campus, Dr. Vikas Gupta, Registrar of the University, Professor Pail Mago, Director uh, School of Open Learning, Professor Anil Kumar, CEO, University of Delhi Foundation, Professor Neera Agni Mitra, Convener, Centenary Celebrations, University of Delhi, other respected faculty members, Deans, head of the departments, principals of different colleges, members of the various committees of centenary celebrations, team of University of Delhi Foundation, members of the various statutory bodies of the university. On behalf of University of Delhi, I welcome you all in this centenary year meet of former faculty. Delhi University, Delhi University has completed 100 years, 100 years of performance, 100 years of service and outstanding achievements and spectacular contribution in the development of our country. Congratulations to all of you. Another good thing is that India has also completed 75 years of its independence, 75 glorious years of dedication, commitment and achievements. We all are proud of this. Congratulations for the same. As 23rd Vice Chancellor of this premier and great university, I welcome you all in the centenary year meet of former faculty. University of Delhi is University of Delhi because of your invaluable contribution. University of Delhi is University of Delhi because of your hard work and accomplishments. <laughs> University of Delhi is University of Delhi because of your wisdom, commitment, and dedication. University of Delhi is University of Delhi because you people joined, worked for the university for many years, and, and shaped this university. And now, whatever shape is, that is due to your hard work, dedication, commitment, I would like to thank all of you for the contribution. <laughs> The impact which you have made, the impact which you have made on countless lives, both within academic community and beyond, is immeasurable. When we say the centenary years means 100 years have passed, celebrating 100 years is a time to express gratitude. Time to express gratitude means what? Gratitude for those who worked for the system, who worked for the university, who worked for the students, and those students who have done extremely well in their life for, for the development of the organizations, development of the country. So University of Delhi is lucky to have you all as faculty. I would like to thank you all, and I would like to put on record your appreciation hard work, dedication for University of Delhi. <laughs> on behalf of the entire university community, on behalf of the entire university community, I extend my warmest congratulations to all our teachers. Your legacy, your legacy will forever be woven into the fabric of this university. And your contribution will continue to inspire. Your contribution will continue to inspire, influence, impact, 
impact future generations of scholars, teachers, students, and educators. You know, now 100 years have passed. Sometimes a question comes in our mind, how this university was started? What were the situations? I think most of us know, University of Delhi Constitution Bill was introduced in Central Assembly, Central Legislative Assembly on January 16, 1922 and passed on 22nd February 1922. Council of States passed on 28th February 1922. Voice Arai gave his consent on 5th March 1922. Notification was issued on 6th April 1922 and university came into force on 1st May 1922. Lord Reading, Lord Reading, then Vice Chancellor, sorry, Lord Reading, then Vice Viceroy of the British India became the first Chancellor of the university and Dr. Hari Singh Gaur became the first Vice Chancellor of this great institution. So we would like to thank all those who worked all forefathers of University of Delhi. This journey of 100 years, we have many success stories. When we started in 1922, only with three colleges, Stephens, Hindu and Ramjas. Stephens started in 1881, Hindu 1899, and Ramjas 1917. So we started our journey with only three colleges. Now we have 90 colleges. We started with only two faculties, arts and science. Now we have 16 faculties. Departments, we started with only eight departments, postgraduate teaching departments. Now we have 86 such departments. We started only with 750 students. Now we have 6,10,230 students in the university. So this is a journey of 750 to 6 lakhs, 10,230. In our library, in 1922, there were only 1,380 books. But now in 2023, we have more than 80, 18 lakhs books plus e-books. We have already invested 34 crores rupees in e-books and good number of databases which are available in our library because now in this digital world, uh, journals, and databases, and e-books are extremely important for our uh, students. Funds, we got 40,000 rupees. 40,000 rupees in those days were given to the university for its establishment and operating expenditure. Right now, in 2033, our operating yearly expenditure is 1,100 crores, excluding, <laughs> excluding expenditure of 90 colleges. If we include that also, maybe 100 crore rupees per college or 75 crore rupees per college, I don't have any idea and data, then this number will be 2,000 crores, if we include that also. 2,000 crore yearly, I don't say invest, uh, uh, expenditure, yearly investment by Government of India, 2,000 crores yearly. First PhD was given in 1948. We established our university in 1922, but first PhD was awarded in 1948. Now in 2023, 99th convocation of the university, 910 PhDs were awarded. And you will be happy to know that 910 number is highest degrees awarded by any university in the world <laughs> in a year. This is a real achievement, you know. And other is the best practice. We are in 100 years, we have uh, completed 100 years and recently 99th convocation. It means what every year we could conduct our convocation. It doesn't happen in most of the universities. This is also a real achievement, uh, achievement of the vice chancellors, planners, educators of and teachers of Delhi University that we could do it every year. 
And in most of the universities, it doesn't happen. NCWeb, Non-Collegiate Women Education Board, started with three students in 1942. Only three students. And now, in 2023, we have 33,000 students. <laughs> School of Open Learning in 1962 started with 900 students. Now, in Open Learning, we have 3,25,000 students. When it comes to programs, when we got independence in 1947, Delhi University was having 59 programs. Now, in 2023, we have 550 different programs in the university. Now, coming to the number of girls students, 1931, we were having only 82 girls in the university. After 10 years, 1941, 340 girls. Look, the country is going to go. And vice versa also. And in 1951, 1,737 girls. 1700 girls. In 2023, as on today, registered, studying in different uh, institutions of University of Delhi, we have 2,25,125 girls. More than 50%, 51.5%, we have girl students. Such, a, such an achievement of the university and the planners of the university. They could uh, imagine and then implement it that we should have good number of girls' colleges. We should have such courses where, uh, you know, the, although now, uh, after 100 years, there is no course where you don't find girls. They are doing extremely well in all the disciplines. Now, coming to the research, right now, H index, which is, a, which is one of the criteria to know the quality of research in a university, H index of University of Delhi as per Scopus database is 256, probably highest by any institution in India. And since uh, 1922, in the last 100 years, we have published in the, in the reputed journals, we have published 63,115 research publications. And out of this also, 111 publications are in Nature and Science journals, the most reputed journals of the world. So we have more than 100 publications by our faculty members. I would like to thank all of you and through you also all the faculty members who contributed in this journey. 111 publications in Nature and Science. Government of India has declared the University of Delhi as institution of eminence. It's a matter of pride to all of us. What a superb. What a superb, magnificent, and outstanding performance of 100 years. We all are proud of this. We, are, we all are proud of our teachers. We all are proud of our students. This performance is because of our bright students, outstanding teachers, and our presence in Delhi. Because Delhi city also, we should thank Delhi city, which city gives us everything. It's a wonderful city. So city, our teachers and our students, that's why University of Delhi is University of Delhi. Everyone wants to study in University of Delhi. Such a, uh, such a <laughs> reputation of the university. A student from Bihar, student from Rajasthan, student from Haryana, student from Kerala, student from other states, they want to study in University of Delhi. That is the reputation of University of Delhi. So we are very lucky that you all were our teachers. You were the teachers of uh, University of Delhi. You spent your life, worked for many, many years in the University of Delhi. You, your effort, your wisdom is, your, they, everything is in the foundation of University of Delhi. Your achievements and accomplishments are, are our achievements and accomplishments. University of Delhi is in every house. University of Delhi is in every heart. Our presence is in every district of India and also in every country of our world. We are everywhere. People expect us to perform. And you know, we have to understand the change which are happening and we have to act accordingly. If we do not, then uh, the, those who will follow us will not forgive us for our tardiness, complacency and negligence. 
it means what whenever we have to take action we should take action why not we have to understand the things which are happening in the world we cannot work should not work will not work in isolation and the achievements in the centenary years first is in the last 10 months or uh, in the centenary year i should say centenary year we have appointed direct recruitment of teachers 2006 teachers have been appointed 2006 when it comes to promotion promotion from associate as assistant to associate and associate to professor in university teaching departments and colleges i have separate data also but uh, due to shortage of time i don't want to share that but uh, data is available we have made promotions 5910 i would like to thank all principals chairman of the governing bodies and the people who are working for uh, implementation of this plan it is not easy like right now what is happening the colleges where interview, interviews are going on and in the university teaching departments 20 days in a month we all are doing this activity and not for a day not for a week not for a month but in the in the last you know joshi ji 6 months and now one and a half year we all work for for this to have these numbers these are not only numbers 2006 and 5910 they are the lives of uh, student lives of the families when it comes to the non teaching although we have uh, we will do many things we we could not do if we compare with the teaching faculty appointments 144 promotions 378 and mscp cases 630 this number is 1152 you know when uh, we decided to uh, work in the centenary uh, year then we decided to give a centenary chance it means was those who could not complete their degrees they should be given a chance this proposal came in the academic council and then the executive council of the university and everyone supported this idea yes let us give a chance to those who could not complete the degree and i am very happy to share that 9121 student registered and gave examination 9121 some are ceos of the company some are the co-founders and founders of the companies they came here and when i uh, you know visited the examination uh, uh, hall i was surprised to see the energy of the hall someone of the age of 80 was giving the exam someone at the age of 75 someone was 65 someone was 55 they were giving exam then a request came jo it was a very genuine request unne kaha sir in benches pe baitha nahi jata itni der थोड़े कुशन बेंच अरेंज करो क्योंकि बैठा नहीं जाता इसमें और अगर चाय की इंतजाम कर दोगे तो और अच्छा है तीन घंटे एग्जाम दिया नहीं जाता ऑल द वी मेड सम अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द टी एंड अदर थिंग्स बट इट वॉज ए वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर अस वी सॉ सच सिंसियरिटी एंड एंड इट वॉज नॉट इजी फॉर अवर एग्जामिनेशन डिविजन professor rawat professor aroda and his team they worked very hard because someone passed out in 1970 or 19 uh, syllabus is uh, curriculum syllabus details courses details there are many things which are not available we ask them to provide if you have they were in some cases they were also not having that but then we contacted the teachers and somehow then they studied and gave examination it was a wonderful experience then in this centenary year we have also decided to start two companies section 8 companies not for profit companies for university of delhi because in the government system in the government system there are wonderful things but there are some limitations also we cannot go beyond that then we thought in the best universities of the world there are companies promoted by founded by the universities to help the university first company which we established university of delhi foundation and the purpose the purpose of the company is what first to to create a system of connect with the students with the faculty with the other stakeholders 
and I would like to thank the CEO, Professor Anil of the company. This function is being organized by that company only. This function is being organized by that company only. When this proposal came in executive council, then the people were worried, scared also. They said, you know, you are privatizing the things. I said, no, it's not the question of privatization, it's our company. It's our company where uh, Vice Chancellor is having 999 shares of the company and one share is with the registrar of the company. So there is no need to worry. Those who will be Vice Chancellor and Registrar, they will take care of this. This is the system and second is what this company not only uh, uh, creates such platforms where people, will, people and the stake, uh, stakeholders will interact. This is one initiative. They have also, uh, last time also, uh, they did something in few months back also with the alumni. Now they are planning to organize a function in Bombay. Uh, next they are planning to organize in Dubai. Next they are planning to organize in United States of America. So plan in ke bahut saare hain, hum in ke saath saath hain. The point is to establish connect. And second is their job is to raise funds for the university. This is also a fundraising exercise which is, uh, which is very common in most of the institutions. If we have endowment fund for the university, then we will be able to do good number of activities. And in future, uh, I am very hopeful that this company will not only establish connect uh, and you know, uh, funds also and good number of other, other initiatives uh, with the society. They have many success stories, but uh, they have established one LIC chair in the university. Company has given a chair through LIC now. And, uh, but uh, this is a very small beginning and uh, few lakh rupees in our endowment also. Second is the Udmode Foundation. Now startup and the, you know, innovation, imagination, creativity uh, and product development, these are new words. They were not in the vocabulary of 20th century. But in 21st century, these are very important words in our vocabulary. That's why this Udmode Foundation, another Section 8 company, and the, and the objective of this company is to establish startup ecosystem in our university and our colleges. This company uh, is also doing very well. And, uh, and very soon, we will have good number of startups. We are planning to fund uh, our students. It means what? Bhosara, our plan is University of Delhi Foundation should generate money and Udmode Foundation to spend money for, uh, for many such activities of the university. Let us see what happens in future, but these are the two companies. Another is, you know, we have decided to start from this academic session, competency enhancement scheme. It means what, you know, right now university works in isolation. We admit students in a particular program, like BA program, BSc program, BCom program, MA program. But now we are opening our university for citizens of Delhi. It means what? You can register for a particular course. If you are a lawyer, you want to register for cyber security, course only, you, are, you will be allowed. Everyone will be allowed to register for two courses in a semester. Or someone is a journalist, wants to do some course on animation, our laboratories will be open. But here the condition is this is not online. This is not a distance education activity. You please register, study with our students so that you will have feel of the life of youngsters, one thing. And second is, you know, your experience will come in the classroom also. Your experience will benefit the other students. So we want to create that culture. And in every course, 10% super, super numeracy seats are created by the university. And we are launching this scheme. Those. Many of you may like to, if you want to, you know, enjoy a student life again, please register for such courses. You will be our student again. Sit in the class, enjoy the lecture, and your experience will benefit our students, and you know, you will also learn new things. It's a very different e experiment which we are doing it. Uh, but you know, there is a condition that slowly and steadily, if you keep on uh, st uh, studying, getting certificates, we have decided we will not give you a degree. This is a course-based thing. Like, because people were, uh, you know, skeptical that this may not open the backdoor entry for a program. 
So, so we clarified in our executive council and academic council, no, this is not a backdoor entry, but we want to open our facilities, laboratories and classroom to every citizen of Delhi, irrespective of age. And you know, uh, I would like to share that uh, I have many requests and uh, some of you will surprise, many requests from the senior citizens. They say we want to come, are we allowed to use library? Yes, you will be allowed to use library. Canteen mein jane ko milega kya? Hamne ka bilkul milega. Canteen mein jane ko milega. Achha, ek ne bada interesting puchha ki cigarette pee sakte hai kya? <laughs> Mene ka, mujhe malum nahi hai. <laughs> mujhe malum nahi hai. Ye pee sakte hai. The point is, you know, it means, uh, it means what, if only for one or two days in a week, if we are able to provide this, Facility to the citizens, कितना खुश होंगे, कितना सबको अच्छा लगेगा, कुछ नया सीखने को मिलेगा, कुछ नया करने को मिलेगा. This is a step, uh, and from this August, 16th August को हम start कर रहे हैं session, so we will launch this facility from 16th August only. Then is the implementation of national education policy. You know, we all are implementing the national education policy provisions, and uh, and we are on the right track, in the right direction, and we are very hopeful that peacefully, slowly, and steadily we will implement most of the provisions. Another success story from University of Delhi is Samarth, which I uh, am very happy to share with you. This Samarth is a transforming higher education through e-governance. This is a portal software developed by University of Delhi. We, are, we have developed, we are maintaining, and it is this software is operating from University of Delhi only, where we are giving services to all central universities, many IITs, Many IITs, many IIMs, and I am not surprised tomorrow a situation may arise. Good number of higher education institutions, their data will be with us, and we are providing this service through Government of India, through Government of India. Now our presence is in 21 states, four duties, and 90 lakh students records are with us right now. 90 lakhs. So this is, this is a gift from Delhi University to India and you know in the higher education fraternity of India. I would like to thank Samarth team and Professor Sanjeev Singh for this accomplishment. <laughs> One is you know, uh, as I am told some of you are worried also and this uh, conversion of CPF to GPF pension scheme we have implemented whatever the court direction came and right now the data which is given to me. Uh, 139, there were 139 university cases, 121 cases resolved, 596 college cases, 555 cases resolved. Few cases are left, but you know, uh, if there are some issues, we will, uh, we, we will take necessary steps. And you know, uh, only new steps, we are, from this academic session, we have already launched three BTEC programs, and uh, the electrical engineering, computer science and engineering, and uh, 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 and electronics and communication engineering. Three BTEC programs, 120 intake, and five-year law also we are launching from this academic session. We, we, are, uh, uh, we will be submitting our proposal to Bar Council of India very shortly, and after getting approval within a month or so, we will launch this program also, five-year law in the university. And also, uh, this uh, NCT has decided this ITEP integrated teachers education program, four year teachers integrated teachers education program. This also we have launched in two, two or three colleges of University of Delhi, but in our CIC also from the next year we will start this program. Then uh, SOL also, you know, uh, School of Open Learning, they are doing extremely well. They have started new programs, MBA, BBA, BMS, BA Honors Economics, BLISC, MLISC, so good number of now, now it is not only B and BCom programs through SF, SOL, but uh, some of the professional programs are also now. Uh, we have got all necessary approvals and uh, SOL is doing very well. Now lastly, about the some projects, because 100 years old university. It means what? We need to, we need to improve and facelift our infrastructure. Some uh, places rejuvenation is required, somewhere repair is required, one aspect. Second is now, our forefathers could create such magnificent infrastructure. Now, uh, after 100 years, time has come, we should add this into the infrastructure. That's why University of Delhi has started 
good number of uh, construction projects in the university. Just to share some of them, two academic blocks costing 330 crores. Two academic blocks costing 330 crores work awarded, construction has started at Morris Nagar, if I'm not wrong, it's in the Morris Nagar. Then construction of a computer center, 87 crores, construction started, you must have seen the barricading in, in, in. Then the faculty of technology building, costing 195 crores, construction started, it is in front of the, uh, uh, in the, in the zoology Zool department. Then we have started vertical extension of physics and chemistry block, 17 crore, will be completed in, uh, in three months, September 2023 is the deadline. Extension of library, university library, 110 crores we are investing. Construction will start next month in 2023, July. Then two hostels, two hostels, 290 crores and likely to start construction uh, in July or August of 2023. Then two academic uh, blocks of Delhi School of Economics, such a prestigious school of uh, uh, our university. So they need additional space. So we are constructing two academic blocks there, costing 200 crores. Proposal is under process. Soon the tender, we will start the tendering process. Although we have, uh, uh, we have appointed the project management consultant, CPWD, for the same. Vertical extension of the health center, we have assigned 25 crores, like construction likely to start in the August 2023. Academic blocks at Dwarka, 95 crores under process. Dwarka, we have, we have, prime land in Dwarka, in front of sector 21 metro station. It is two or three acre land, small size, but prime location. So we have started, uh, uh, we are planning to start construction very soon there, and we will, one, uh, you know, law center will go there. One will go in east of Delhi, which is again, uh, university campus at Suraj Mal Vihar, where we are investing 226 crores in Suraj Mal Vihar, and the proposal is under process. Then uh, construction of girls hostel at Dhaka, 143 crore under process, and the total amount, if we add this, 1,718 crore rupees. 1,718 crore rupees. Now you will think, where will money come from? to money University is also planning to start Vallabhai Patel uh, Medical College at Dhaka. We have requested our, we have very reputed uh, VPCI, Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute, and we have requested them, please submit a proposal to Government of India for starting a full medical college. Uh, so that, you know, we will have, uh, if it is our medical college, then uh, we will have full control and facilities of that medical college to the students, to the teachers, and the total fraternity. We have assigned land in Dhaka. Uh, there is a piece of land in Dhaka for the medical college. And uh, VPCI will submit uh, the proposal to Government of India very soon. So that is also in planning stage. And uh, so many good things are happening in the centenary year. We all are witnessing the change happening in the University of Delhi. And I would like to thank all of you uh, because University of Delhi is University of Delhi because of your efforts. And I would also like to thank the University of Delhi Foundation, its CEO, Prof. Anil, and his team for organizing this function and, you know, taking lead. Uh, uh, and our first target, which uh, he has given to us, promise he has given to us, is 100 crores. He said we will uh, arrange 100 crores. And I am very hopeful that we will have uh, 100 crores, no issues. Bahut sara, uh, dhire dhire aega. But point is not 100 crore. Point is what this company will provide a platform in the university, but outside the hundreds of the university, will provide a connect, will provide a connection, will provide facilities to all, all, all the stakeholders of the university. I am extremely thankful to all of you. Again, thank you.